we're taking your cold leftover pizza and bringing it back to life with Hot Pocket sleeves. On the inside, it's lined with something called a susceptor, which sounds like an amazing Star Wars slash Transformers thing. What these susceptors do is they take micro waves and turn it into radiant heat. Like that heat is what actually crisps the outside of this. So if you think about this, you can actually have crisping heat inside a microwave, which is notorious for making everything hard, soggy, too dense, awful. This is gonna solve all that. Now, there are two types of susceptors. You get the regular Hot Pocket, it's gonna be a small, thin one that kind of loosely fits over. Now the croissant crust is wider, which means you can fit more stuff in it. What do you reheat that always gets killed in the microwave? Pizza, day old pizza. Now I know some of you are like, I love cold pizza, and you know, we always get by, but what if you could put this in the microwave, and instead of it dying, you can get back the crispy bottom, the leoparding, beautifully melted cheese on top, like it was fresh pizza. Now some people will put a glass of water in the thing, and do this, and put on that, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife, and all we're gonna do is cut the pizza to fit these. Now, how do we make it longer? This is a longer piece. Well, maybe you just slide two together. So now we have an extra long piece, and we can slide our pizza inside. All you can do is take this, put it in the microwave. One minute. Here we go. Susceptor. Boom. Pizza time. Comes out. And you slide that out. And look, top, beautifully melty. And listen, that is no longer soggy. That is pizza time. This actually tastes like it was out of the oven. It's still soft in the center, crispy on the outside. You thought that was it? You thought that was over? We got another one for you. This is not just about reheating pizza. We're gonna show you what these susceptors can do. What about, since it gets crispity and crunchy on the outside, but still soft on the inside, what about taking one of these and making grilled cheese. Bonus dish. Croissant height, two pieces of bread. Huh, it's funny. Give you a little bit of space on each side so you don't have to waste anything. This part is pretty simple. You're gonna take some room temp butter. You're gonna spread it on the outside. That's how you're gonna get that nice crispy golden crust. A little salt on the outside, never hurt. So we have our buttered sides. We're gonna flip it over. Just take some cheese, just layer it. Put it right in the middle. We're gonna take these, this guy, we're gonna slide it in the susceptor. Whoa, the butter's coming off. Don't film that. Boom. That's a little cheese thing, a little bread thing. Take it, throw it in the microwave, bam. So that susceptor right now, it's taking all those microwaves and turning them into radiant heat. And what it's doing is coming in contact with the butter on top of the bread, and it's gonna speed up that process just like a broiler, like getting the crispy part of the outside of the steak under the broiler. That's all we're doing here with the butter on the outside of the bread, as we're getting it beautifully crispy and brown. <sighs> Culinary school. I'm smelling cheese being melted, kind of hearing it being melted. But I'm smelling butter and toasted bread as well. What's the hate about that? I'm sure someone will find it in the comments below. All right, let's take this out. Little caliente. But there you go. You have a microwave, grilled cheese, courtesy of a susceptor, AKA Hot Pocket Sleep. You wanna learn about more ways to misuse your microwave? Click here. Now we can kinda just fold this up and use a knife. But this is, you can do this. And we're not gonna make it that easy. Well look at this.